Can you hear me? I hear you loud. <laughs> okay. It'll work. It'll work. It works, it works. <laughs> it works, it works. Several, several, I can't even talk now. Videos, several. It's like, it's like when I say aliens, aliens. Aliens. I don't, I don't say aliens. It's aliens. I say aliens, aliens. 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 <laughs> Let's go get some aliens, That's boy. Still, that was still funny, that one. Aliens. Alien. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, before we get on the hoax and haunt it, <coughs> excuse me, before we get on the hoax and haunt it, I'm sleeping in my bed. <laughs> my wife has an alarm on. It's called sci fi. The sound. The sound is called sci fi. I feel like I should pull it up. So, out. her alarm starts going <laughs> off. And I just wake up, sit up immediately, and I holler out, aliens. I mean, I just, I was sleeping, I just sit straight up, no problem, and just holler out, aliens. And then it was her alarm, and I laid back down. There you go. I thought I was being abducted. That's what the sound is. <laughs> so when I heard that, I was like, aliens. <laughs> woke up, was like, aliens. And it was her alarm. I was like, oh, man. And I laid back down. I thought in that second one before I hopped up when I first heard that, I was like, yes, I'm being abducted. <laughs> aliens. So I set up real quick and I'm like, aliens. Sorry, no. And then me. next thing I know, it's her, just her alarm was like, oh, man. <laughs> and just went back to bed. It was funny. It made my day. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. <laughs> so we're going to pause this real quick. And... Uh, uh, We'll be back. I gotta change out camera batteries. Okay. Excuse me. Stop. Stop. You're not on both cameras. <laughs> Alright. So welcome back, Paranormal Geeks, the Geeked Up Paranormal Podcast. Um, I am Brandon. Brianna. That's Brianna, my beautiful wife. So in today's, um, I guess podcast episode, uh, we'll be going over haunted place, which would be Leah Smog's grave, and a little bit of that story. Um, kind of skip the intro. Usually we start talking about something. <laughs> Usually. Usually. We just jump right into it. Well, I mean. I guess there's, I don't know, there's a lot going on in the paranormal world. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> there's a lot, like uh, Urban Ghost, Urban Exploration, coming out, making a video saying that they're uh, that they're sorry and that they make uh, some videos for entertainment purposes. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, I already knew that they did, but I didn't hate them for it, you know. They didn't say that they didn't, you know, that it was all real, uh, you know, but I wasn't counting them for when they did stage a video for entertainment purposes. Yeah, but I wonder how that's going to affect the paranormal videos itself. Well, I'm pretty sure from here on out, they'll probably let you know if they staged it or not. I mean, that's like um, Mind CTV. Uh, I think first season or second season or something where it was just uh, two of them uh, with I think it was one I don't know he, he said that they'll uh, that they stage some things you know what I'm saying um, for like entertainment purposes you know but it's like they still do get uh, paranormal evidence when they do stage some of these videos. To me though, I won't trust them for a video. I mean, I... I they already lost my trust. I mean, I'll still watch them. It's like... It's like, uh... TV shows. If they... If their show ain't... You know, if they didn't get a lot of evidence or... Um... So on and so forth. They, uh... It. Yeah, they add stuff to it. You know, entertainment purposes. I didn't watch it like you said. 
I mean, I, I don't. Here and there, you watch it, but I mean, I don't hate people that you know. I mean, I get it. They're doing it for entertainment because I mean, paranormal investigations do get boring. You know, because a lot of it you don't get. Majority of your investigations, you probably ain't gonna get anything. You might if you might go investigate. You can probably investigate for 24 hours in a super haunted place, and you probably won't get jack. Yeah. And sometimes you'll probably get a buttload. It all depends. You know. Uh. I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm glad that they <laughs> came. Malfunction. My dog. We got uh, lighting staged up, and he keeps trying to knock it over. Not on purpose. But, um, I don't hate them for it. I'm not saying hate. I just I mean, I'm I w- not going to trust them. But, you got to do what you got to do, I guess. Yeah. But, I mean, what? I mean, that goes, I mean, this kind of goes hand in hand with our paranormal question. So, I say we might as well start with that and get it out of the way. I mean, paranormal question is, uh, does people that fake their uh, evidence hurt people that get legitimate evidence? I do. I think in a way it does. How? Because they're already putting that doubt in people's minds that, oh, they fake stuff. And then say that they fake something that we really thought. They're going to question it. Yeah. I mean. I think their first instinct is going to question it. True. I mean, I mean, it does help the, I guess, anti-believers in the paranormal world with, uh, with their, uh, I guess, arguments when they try to disprove evidence. Mm -hmm. They'll pull up old, uh, like, fake evidence and be like, see, and then they're like, oh, it's easily faked, and it's not real, yeah. so on and so forth. I mean, but I'm not here to prove the paranormal to anybody, you know? Well, I'm, I like I like that we debunk it for ourselves as well. You know? Yeah. Like, because it's not that we doubt it, but we want to make sure that in every way we know that it was real. Oh, yeah. I mean, not only do we try to debunk it, we also... Like, when we get information through uh, an investigation, we try to legitimize it far as, uh, for instance, uh, at that one house where we got the apparition that went in front of the camera, mm-hmm. and it was a little boy and little girl, and we found tons of evidence to back it, you know, the spirit up being there. Yeah. I mean... Well, and there was more than one person that was uh, helping us understand. Yeah, as far as the medium. And then my little brother found an article. Well, and then we have a local. Yeah, that told us. That and gives us stories, and they all add up. Yeah. So it's like, it, there's no, it's not a coincidence. Like, it's obvious. Yeah. Fact. And <laughs> then, I mean, I got an apparition that went across my camera. You yeah. know, you can't. I mean, somebody would probably like, oh, that's... A non-believer will always find a reason of what it was instead of admitting that it was... Or it could have been, yeah. you know? Yeah. I mean, I... Sometimes I won't 100% say something is paranormal, but if I know that it's paranormal, I mean, yeah. come on. It's... I'm going to say it is. Cause there's I mean, you're always going to have non-believers. Always. Always. You're always going to have doubters. Yeah. But. And I showed, I showed, like, it's on uh, the suck book where, uh, like, uh, paranormal groups on the suck book where, you know, you'll, for some reason, the majority of them are non believers. And when you post evidence onto that paranormal group, <laughs> everybody hounds them. You know, they try to say it's this or that. I mean, and I feel like there's still more non-believers than there is believers. Mm. I don't know. I feel like there's 
more believers than non-believers. I just I just think they it's like politics, you know what I'm saying? A lot of them they just don't want to speak up because they don't want to get counted and stuff. And then I don't know. I feel like a lot of people want to be like, "Oh yeah, my stuff's real, your stuff's fake." You know, try to be like the number one paranormal, I guess, investigator or I have the best evidence. In the I world. hate the non-believers that try to do things. Like because usually those are the ones that fake it. But like why even associate yeah. with that? Well, that community. Not necessarily they they don't but Something just happened. What was that? I don't know. Either way. Technical difficulties. Always. I don't even know what that was. That was weird. I mean, I wonder if they ha- like paranormal podcast having paranormal things happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's like paranormal. It's probably something. Probably technical error. Yeah, something of mine. We always have technical errors. I mean, this is. This is like a uh, redneck ingenuity podcast happening here. But I mean, I got a cheap, cheap uh, foreign computer. You know, it gets the job done. It does. I mean, don't hate it. But I can't put multiple cameras up oh, onto yeah. it at right. once. <laughs> but gotta start somewhere. Not only do they like necessarily they, they might fake it, they don't. I don't think they understand what they're doing either when they do to go investigate if they're a non-believer. You know? That's like, I'm not hating on Sam and Kobe for this and uh, their group, but in one of their investigations, they had a, a Spirit Box SB7, and you know it comes with a speaker, right? It kind of yeah. looks like a mic. Mm-hmm. Well, they was speaking into the speaker like it was a mic <laughs> with headphones on it. Someone's done that with ours. Yeah. And I, to me, I was like, you know, they're, which they're believers. They're not non-believers. They're no. believers. But, you know, they didn't know how to go about it, you know. I feel like... But, I mean, that now they do. Going yeah. back to what you're saying, like non-believers still catch the stuff. I feel like they catch it, but they don't really know what they're looking for. Or yeah, they don't they know. They make an explanation. Yeah. So they psych their stuff out. Yeah. No, more than likely, yeah. That's like uh, this one video on TikTok. The lady caught something in her her video, and uh, she went back during the day and then another night to try to capture it again. Couldn't capture it, and she was making hundreds and hundreds of different excuses for what it could have been and what it was. And not that it was her. Yeah. <laughs> And it, like, I think she was like, oh, those eyes was raccoons. And it didn't look like nothing like a animal eyes. Yeah. And then, like, you see a dis, and like, a disinformed face, a disfigured face. Yeah, but they say it's everything but what it was. Yeah. It's, it's like, just admit it to yourself. Right? <laughs> just, just admit it. I mean, and it's like a lot of uh, religious people, you know, if. I don't think they understand that there's they believe in the paranormal, you know. God is paranormal. Yeah. Their religious beliefs are paranormally paranormal, you know. But they're not gonna admit that. No, they <laughs> won't. I've had this discussion with yeah. uh, tons of people. More, they're more uh, elderly even, and they're like, "Well, in the Bible it says this." I said, also, the Bible has been passed down from generation to generation, and governments are also known to use religious beliefs to, um, to get you to their side. Yeah. So, one of belief, like, um, yeah. don't fake stuff. It just hurts people that do investigations and try to prove it. You know, I don't try to prove it no more because. Honestly, I'm not doing it to prove anything. I'm doing it for, you know, my own evidence, you know, to see what spirits can do, can't do, see what spirits can, you know what I'm saying, talk to them. Like, I'd rather just tell you the truth. I'd rather go hang out with spirit and talk to them instead of normal people anymore, real-life people. Yeah. I mean. Well, I feel like quarantine made people forget. 
being other people. Yeah. How to be around other people. So I guess that got the paranormal question out of the way <laughs> and the intro. But uh, I'm waiting for you to pronounce it the doll. The doll. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's gonna be a hard one. Well, we're, let's start with the haunted place of the week. <laughs> the haunted place of the week is uh, Meade County, Kentucky, the so, Battle Town Wit. Which is crazy because it's like, in Lapland. Yeah, you. you I was around Meade County for years. I never mean, heard of it. Ten plus years, probably. Never heard. Of it. Yeah, I've heard of this since I was a teenager. But I've never, I've never been there. So, it's private property. It's a uh, cemetery on private property. Um, Don't even try. You can't go there unless you have permission. The owners are really strict on that too. Yeah. Strict laws on that. And if uh, there are legalities, like uh, if you have a family member buried there, they can't stop you from going. But be nice and let the owner of the land know you know what I'm saying it's like hey um, I'm going to the cemetery and and respect that. yeah because the reason why the owners are this way is because people keep defacing the cemetery and leave a smock grave yeah. and whatnot so I guess people ruined it for everybody else there it goes again. I feel like it has I think it's something totally different. But, I mean, if I was the guy that owned the owned it, right, yeah. and people were ruining it, I'd shut it down too. Not let people go. I mean, look at what, I'd, look I'd, at Casey Cemetery. Yeah. So, Hell's Gate Cemetery, people go there and they dump the trash yeah. and they go there, drink, party, destroy it. You hear about it all the time, graveyards and stuff like that. Yeah. It's like, why? That's like uh, the that one video we seen where the guy went to go investigate. Two dudes and a girl was there. And the girl went off to go use the bathroom. And she came back crying because she seen a uh, lady dressed in all white. Like a white. Uh, like a lady in white. Mm-hmm appeared to her so she pretty much went crying to them was like we gotta go and she went straight to the car the dudes went straight to the car where was this hell's gate cemetery oh so you gotta think she probably went and peed somewhere probably on the cemetery property you know yeah and they didn't really like that yeah and she showed herself which comes to back to Leah Smock's grave um so Let's start with the beginning of the Battle of Town Witch, Leah okay. Smock. Um, 1818 was when she was born, and while she was alive, um, she said to be like a healing witch. Um, she had remedies that could heal people and powers of her own that could also heal people. And then she also foreseen critically ill people's death, how yeah. they were going to die when they were going to die. So she would warn them. Yeah. They feared that. And people feared that, yeah. So, uh, pretty much a posse of locals um, went and burned her smokehouse down that she was in. So she was burned alive. And um, they say that she's the only witch known in America to be burned alive. Documented. I was doc- thrown off by that. Yeah, it's the document. only documented one. Um, I mean, that's like, I guess people, that's like a medium. Somebody saying a medium is a witch and you're going to kill them for that stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, I read that she was born in West Virginia. Yeah. Um, so that sad to think about too. So, I mean, they just 
I guess they killed her because they feared her. Yeah. And that's what happened to a lot of the witches. So they feared what they could do, and they still fear her in death. Right? Yeah, they yeah like uh, they replaced the first three feet of her grave of the dirt with the uh, rock to keep her well, and down. Well, supposedly she didn't move further and further off from the cemetery. What do you mean? Like, her first burial, um, they feared that it didn't keep her uh, locked away. They feared that she was still able to do stuff. So they town. moved her body multiple times? I haven't heard about See, that. They, they moved her grave um, further and further away from the city limits. Uh, That's supposedly or? Supposedly. Okay. Yeah. Um, but also that's why they uh, buried her face down. Yeah, so out. she's supposedly buried face down, but for sure the rocks are the first three feet of her grave is rock, and they did that to keep her from coming out because a hunter went hunting and saw a woman in all white hovering over the grave, and she had like this purple aura around her. Yeah, I've read multiple people talk about that. Yeah, I've also, I've, I've. I haven't seen any, I think I might have seen one or two investigations there of people investigating there and stories and I've heard stories of other people and stuff and supposedly people's hair has been pulled there. If you mess with her grave, you'll see her. Yeah. Um, if you, like, they've seen apparitions, somebody's been scratched. Then also somebody went up there during the winter time when yeah. it snowed and there was no snow on her grave, but everywhere else there was snow. Yeah, and then also if you take one of the stones, supposedly he dies or they have. Uh, yeah. I don't know how true that is either, but it's just hearsay. So, I mean... But they didn't find anything. I mean, I don't... I wonder why they did the rocks on their grave, because... I feel like that has something to do with witches in general, because I've read multiple witches, like, it's either, like, the iron gate around the grave. Oh, well, yeah, like the stones. they can't pass so like, through iron. Yeah. I mean, I can see the iron, but the rocks over the grave. Maybe it's a certain rock. Maybe. Yeah, I wonder about that. Rock. Because, I'm, I mean, what is it? It's, like, ancient Egypt or maybe before then or something like that. Uh, I'm not for sure where it comes from. But this is ancient, where uh, if somebody passed away, where they bled out on the street, they would take a nail to the blood and nail it into the ground to keep the spirit from Well, maybe somebody knows why them. they put the stones on it. Yeah. I mean, um, if you know. Educate us. <laughs> if you know, comment it down below. Let us know. Yeah, because I'm unsure about that. Because I've mean, heard about the iron gates and stuff, but I don't, I don't know about the rocks. Yeah. I mean. And then I also wonder if, by chance, the person that went up there in the wintertime, right, it's up on a hill. Yeah. So what if the sun was only beaming like right there at that moment, and that's why it didn't have snow on it? Could be, but I feel like. I mean, like that's ma that's me making an excuse about. I feel like there would have been more snow melted though. Like people could be affected. You never know. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> you never know. Well, I mean, that's we live in Kentucky. You live near it. That's um, what I know. And didn't even know about but it. There's a whole movie, a whole book out by. Yeah, there's like, there's a movie and two books. The movie's Leah Smock, The Legend Awakens. I, we haven't watched it yet, but eventually we probably will. Um, and then there's two books, uh, Burned as a Witch, The Legend of Leah Smock, Battletown Witch, Leah Smock. The or wait, the first one is Burned as a Witch, The Legend of Leah Smock. You know what I wish? Well, hold on. The second Sorry. book is Battletown Witch, Leah Smock, The Evolution of Witchcraft, and Last Witch Burning in Hell is the second book. So if you wanted to go check out the movie or the two books, there you go. And if you see it or read them before we do, comment it down below. Let us know what you think of the movie and the book. For sure. Um, I wish, like, people educated you about the town history. You know, because, like, I went to New Town before. You know, and never yeah. heard anything about it. Yeah. Like it's, well, supposedly somebody that is related to Leah Smock 
is uh, I think works at the library or the museum, something to do in the in Mead County. Like she has uh, an ancestor that still like you know what well, like not an ancestor like somebody that in her family is still alive. Yeah, you know like in Hocus Pocus where like they tell you about the witches and like all of that. You know, yeah. Like their education in school about it. Yeah. Like I just wish that real schools did that. Yeah. Why do you keep looking at me? Uh-huh. Why do you keep looking behind me? I'm just looking. Like I'm just looking around. Why, when I look around, it freaks everybody out. I just like looking around. I guess everybody thinks I can see ghosts or something. I it's don't, not that. I'm just like, why are you looking behind me? I just like looking around. I'm talking to you. Don't look behind me. Well, I'm also <laughs> processing what you're saying, too. That's also why I look away. Anyway. I mean... That's that's it on Lena Smock. That's all we have on her. I mean, there's more out there. Uh, read the book, watch the movies. Read the both books and watch the movies. Um, I don't know fact, if you said that when she died. She, she, she died uh, August 21st, 1840. She was 22 years old when she was burned alive. Um, some, so, and people are very... I guess touchy with the story too like some people argue over how she died yeah like um she wasn't burned alive it was construction fire that's still her burning alive yeah and you're never really gonna know if it was like by accident or intentional well I think I think they they have documents on it but I feel like every town has like those yeah, you know, secret kill, societies. Yeah, that goes out and kills people, and like only they know the secret. Yeah, you know, like what? I feel like that's real life. Like that seriously happens. Like that's not just in the movie. What are you, <laughs> Riverdale? <laughs> you never know. Battletown, Kentucky is Riverdale. <laughs> I mean, because you had the Masonics and stuff back then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what they did. The Riverdale. I mean, Kentucky. they did go around killing people, so. You never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like the movies come from somewhere, and it's not just imagination. It's fact. True. All right, so moving on from Leah Smock, we're going to move on to Paranormal Equipment uh, part of this podcast. And today's Paranormal Equipment is going to be the Obulus 5. This is probably one of our favorite, if not the favorite. It was the SLS camera. I mean, to me, it's that and this. Yeah, those are definitely my top. As much, yeah, it's definitely one of the top I, five. My go-to is every investigation. So with the Obelisk 5, you have a dictionary where a spirit will use its energy to uh, pick out a word in the dictionary. Which how many words does it have? It's over 2,000. So it's got quite a bit to choose from. Yeah, and then you have... A draw or I don't know. I'm confused. It's like a heartbeat almost. Hmm. Maybe it tests waves. Yeah, waves of energy. That's what it does. Yeah. And then you have the yes and no. Yeah. Um. Hold on. So here's the dictionary oh. part of it. So yeah, it. That one loves to t- tell us about a demon. Yeah, so it speaks to, it tells you what the words were. But and you can turn the, the volume up and down. Too. Yeah, and if you turn it down, it kind of whispers. Yeah, and it's kind of creepy. So here's the energy wave. I wonder if it gets real, like a lot of energy. I don't know, we really haven't tested that. Call, you got your phone on you? Yes. Call me real quick. Okay. We're going to test this line. It would still bring it. Yeah, kind of. It's not alerting, though. 
Might as well pull it away. See the line goes back straight. Hmm. Kind of. And then put the phone back up. And it starts waving. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it does do energy. So, you can go into the, the room and shut this down and see if there's like a energy wave. Then you have the drawing app, which to me, this is weird because it's like pixelated. I've never gotten anything out of this, so I haven't really thought it on like people, like ever uh, anywhere that what people saw on it. I feel like we try. Uh, oh, it does something different there. I feel like we try a couple different things, but then we always go back to the very same. Yeah. I mean, I guess it try it try <coughs> to draw something there. Yeah. Then we have the true or false. Yep. Where pretty much they draw to the green light or the red light if at the bottom is there any spirits here if so go to green if there's uh, no spirits here go to make it go to red that's kind of <laughs> <It's red. laughs> well you made it go to red so I know you're here I mean yeah <laughs> that's kind of like it's a trick, was, it's yeah. a trick question then you have um, jokes on you. <laughs> you just gave yourself away. Motion. Okay. So it's like if you set it down on the ground, vibrations of it. Well, I'm trying not to move as much. <laughs> but then if you move it a lot, watch. See how big it goes? Yeah. So it goes off in vibration. I'm glad we didn't have that going during the cemetery festival. <laughs> right. Went crazy with the train game. Right, the ground was shaking <laughs> when the train passed that by. That was crazy. Like I felt like we was about to fall in a cave or into the grave. Yeah. Then you have the phonetic app on the Obelisk Five. <laughs> what? I yeah. heard something about lighter. You, you, healthcare. This, yeah. is, this is the most we've had it ever. This is the yeah. most. So they. Uh, the only thing I hear clear is they is you. And yeah. So what what the phonetic app does <laughs> here? I'm a, so it's all it is. It don't I don't really have nothing on screen, but it takes energy, and I the wish, spirit picks like it talks through this, like it uses the, like the sound. I wish it would write up there what it's saying though, you know. Yeah. Like, like I need subtitles on videos, so I'm definitely not gonna go with that. Side. Well, this is the most I've ever had it go off, whatsoever. It's the most. Sounds like it's repeating it. Like it sounds like it just literally said the same sentence. Help. 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 But also we it's help. like help. M A L. I heard help on that. This is the most I've <laughs> ever had this go off. We tried at the cemetery at, uh, in, uh, Pioneer Cemetery in West Point. Got a little bit. I tried this here several times. Never, this has never been off like this with the phonetic. I don't know. To me, it's saying the same exact thing over and over. But I hear, no, I hear some different things then. And I feel like when it's repeating stuff over and over, it's so it can try to say what it's saying better. And then... You gotta think when it's coming through this, I don't think it's fully catching all of it. Probably. So it's chopping it up more. Alright, so that's the phonetic part of it. Which I'm glad this kind of shows you how that works. I mean, they're talking to. This is the words, you see. 
Yeah. People kept talking about maybe it's just that version. People. Hello. Promises. Morality. I mean, we kind of have sleep paralysis. I'm tired of that. And there's pillows, people. Yeah. Quilt. Sakasha. I heard Tasha. Sakasha. <laughs> Disturb. Flowers. Tesla. Jeez. I wonder if it's doing all that with all the energy we have going on in Valley. this little fucking thing. Valley. Clean. No? This has never. I've never had it really. Like, I've done this with all of this on and more. And it's never really gone off like this ever. Usually it stays quiet, really, with all of this. I mean, I'm telling you, something touched my foot. Dollar minute tickle. And I seen something. So, and it just said tickle, right? See how it whispered? I hate when it does that. Man, never got, like, this is going off the chain. Horror. All right, we're going to. Try something else on this. Um, oh, so then you got the log. It logs every word that it says, and you can delete the log if you want. Um, proximity. So, what this does, it's like a radar of energy. If there's energy somewhere around this, it'll ping it on its radar of it. Um, like it'll spike out and then you got the settings which is where you go and system update, clear your log system status uh, where I guess you can put an SD card in or something because it says mount SD card which I think that's actually built in and then you have your audio where you can turn the audio up and down so that's the Obelix 5 we've, I'd say we've gotten a lot of great evidence off of this Obelix 5. Um, I mean, I love it. Like, that's my go-to, really. And then I have hundreds of phone apps that does everything the Obelix 5 does. But but I, I, I'm a, I can't trust the phone apps, yeah. Cause, I mean, Where would you even put a SIM card in it? Or an SD card? It'd be on, it's on the inside. But like... It's not... It's not. You a, wouldn't be able to do no, it. No, have to. You'd have to break it open. And, yeah. Yeah. It's not like a phone. You can put it in there. But you can attach it to the computer to update it. Um, What's this one? For that. Headphones? That's for headphones. <laughs> or is that like the power? It. No, I think that's just the power. Yeah, this is the power. Yeah. Then that's the headphones. Okay. It's got two antennas. It's pretty nice. I mean, I yeah. Like it. Got this from Digital Dallas. How long have you been using it? Actually, uh, this is what I ordered it January, and I wasn't supposed to get it till April, mm -hmm. was it? Yeah. And I got it actually a week early. <laughs> like, really, I got Woo! it. A, no, was it two weeks early? It was somewhere around there. Like, I, I got it. No, I think I got I think it was two weeks early because the day it shipped out, I, I think I got it. No, I got it. So it was supposed to take two weeks to get here, right? They're supposed to ship it out on that day, and then it's supposed to get. Well, they shipped it out on that day, and instead of I getting it in the two weeks of shipping that it usually takes, I got it like three days later. Well, that and the um, the SLS. You the SLS. A long time for those. Well, the SLS I got in half the time. But um, it was built after. Yeah, so these are built to order. The SLS is built to order. You so buy it, then they build it. So long, yeah. um, you can get it way faster if you spend more money, like express it, I guess. Yeah, but I would like to know that it's brand new. You yeah, know what I'm well, well, it is brand new. He make, they, they, I don't know. I say he, they make them. So I, I bought it from digitaldowson.com, and I emailed him. I, like, I kept in touch because I, I wanted to make sure I wasn't getting shipped off so I can get my money back. It's a lot of money. Yeah. What four or five hundred dollars? Something like that, yeah. It's so I went. Expensive. I kept in touch. I mean, I didn't do it a lot. No, you didn't bug them, but you. No, you I, I did it maybe once a month, and then. But what I mean is, like, I would rather order from them instead of like Amazon, 
because like Amazon, you don't really know if it's returned or it's been dropped or whatever, right? You can't get them on Amazon no more. But yeah, yeah I know what you're saying, like eBay. I would rather buy it through them, knowing that yeah. it's being made as soon as I order it. So yeah, you know, it's not gonna happen. Anymore. Well, it's better to order from them anyway because if you go uh, like on eBay, people are selling for a thousand dollars, and then if you go to digitaloution.com. I mean, they know that it's the it thing right now. It's paranormal, so they're gonna have to. Yeah, link down in the description. That's like that's why I told her when I bought this and the SLS camera. I told her I was like, I can make my money back on it, if not double it, because the price. Like when these stop selling too, like paranormal equipment, when they stop making them, and so on and so forth. Uh, I mean, the prices of these things go up. It's like the Oculus. All the other Oculus is gonna be way up in price. And then, paranormal is the thing to do right now. Yeah, I it's mean, very the it, it it's thing the to it do. Thing. Like, I don't talk to much people about the paranormal, like outside of, you know, me, my wife, maybe my your little circle of people that you have. Yeah, my mom, dad, brother, grandma, uh, you know, my intermediate family, and then my buddy Tim, huh? Oh, yeah. Like, you have your little yeah, well, them, yeah, because they're already into the paranormal, you know. Yeah. But, like, I don't go outside of that. Like, people come to me, I'll talk to them about this and so on and so forth. And then you got my buddy Tim, and he's telling everybody about it. Yeah. And but he's also beneficial to have because he's yeah. been around. Like, yeah. He's getting me viewers. He knows, he knows the town, and he knows the stories, and, like, yeah. He's been around. And he he's knows showing people. you new places. Yeah. He, he's just definitely good at that. Yeah. And he, uh, I mean, and we was somewhere together, and he was telling somebody, hey, this is my buddy I was telling you yeah. about, paranormal. He's proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> and my, uh, and the person goes, yeah, I used to do paranormal too. And I'm like, like, to me it was like welding. You know, everybody says they're a welder and stuff, and they've welded it. Yeah. You know, it's like the it thing to do. And, I mean, I mean, I don't know. I wasn't little. Like, when I was little, I wasn't, like, into the paranormal. I was, like, scared of it, you know. <laughs> then I hit 13 and wanted to be, like, a Billy Bad Butt. And, you know, it just don't scare me no more. Yeah. I mean, I feel like if I had an apparition just, like, full, fully pop up in front of me and, like, I can see them from head to toe, clear as day. And then I know that they're after I feel like I'm going to freak out, you know? I did, yeah. If if it, if it was, if I didn't know, you know, and then I knew later down the road, I wouldn't be freaked out. I would be, like, excited, you know? I'd be overly excited about it. I feel like mine started around the same time as you. Because, like, it started in the Van Grove house. But in the in uh, our old neighborhood down the road or whatever, yeah, I guess the our the owner before us died, and I guess the the basement that was about to burn into or something. We'll have to ask them because I don't remember it at all. But supposedly the house we lived in was split up. Also and didn't y'all bring house. rocks there though? That's a different house. I'm talking about the um, house. The, right okay. Here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, but you said the Vine Grove house. Well, it's probably when it started, for me believing. Okay. But we lived in a house when I was younger that had a split. But I don't remember that house. Okay. So, but I feel I like know. I've always been around that house. Yeah. Because, I mean, we had a psychic aunt who said that, and that they were, she stayed in my baby room. I mean, I do have a friend that is a medium. I mean, I don't feel like I want to bug them with the million questions that they have. They say it's fine. I'm like, you, like, I don't think they understand. Like, I would ask them questions today. A question that, like, I have millions of questions, and they pop in my head all the time. But they're probably used to that. Yeah, but see, that's the thing. I don't want to be another 
<laughs> statistic in their life of annoying them. I mean, if they say it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> they I wouldn't mean, tell you it's fine if it's not. I mean, I I, I can feel I energy. Mean, I mean, I'm not saying I'm empath, but I feel energy. You know, I can't describe the energy to you. Sometimes I feel like I can, but majority yeah. of the time, you know. And then, like, I feel like sometimes I have to even go back to a place multiple times before I can even explain the energy that I felt, you know. Yeah. I'm always quick to it's say, oh, never been nothing's something evil. here. You're yeah, and you're always proved wrong. Every <laughs> time. Always, but I'm always Every quick time. to still say it. Oh, this place is fine. That's, that's what she said about uh, the Steely House. Yep. Um, you're going to be seeing that video uh, Thursday. But uh, I don't realize that the signs are there when I see the logo. Like, yeah. Until yeah. after we go over videos, and then I'm like, oh, you know. Yeah, that's like the Steely House. She's like, oh, that's, that's it's, not how it's I actually like is. How. And then we went over the evidence, and you hear it clear as day. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give it out. But we was talking and stuff, yeah. and then on her camera. We get an EVP, and you don't hear it on my camera, and on my camera, you know it's not me. Yeah, and so, we and we know it's not both of us yeah. that said it, so it's like, it's, mm. oh, oh, crap, <laughs> we got something. Yeah. When the whole time I thought, oh, no. My whole thing is, fine. I don't, you know, with this investigation that we did, I don't, I don't, I don't really remember the investigation. Like, I think we got some stuff over over the spirit box but far as the couch is obviously you see that um far as like i don't think i think we used the cat ball and yeah, other other things off. but i'm not gonna give it out i'm gonna just let y'all y'all gonna have to watch it because it's pretty interesting with our experience we had there before we even did the paranormal that's what i was gonna say like catching evps yeah like we caught more in just our regular videos than our paranormal. Did you ever find? <laughs> oh man, I just imagine like a little old ball that's just sitting there. Get out of here! <laughs> Honestly, I feel like it. Like that land. I don't. I don't want to necessarily say it's inhabited because I feel like all spirits uh, can roam freely. Yeah, but I mean, if you see the upkeep of the graveyard and like how sunken in some of them are, like I feel like some of them would definitely be touched. Oh yeah, by animals mm -hmm. and then well, the water when it floods. And, yeah, and, and then you probably tree trunks or uh, not trunks, but the. Well, and then you had that um, the train that wrecked through there. Yeah. That they probably disturbed all of that. And then, no, no, hold on. This even fuels to the fire because right there, where the grave is, okay, you go to Dixie Highway. What happens right there? Right, all the time. All the time. All the time. Well, my sister was saying that on and, the bridge, right yeah. at the beginning of the bridge where the cemetery kind of is, there was a semi truck and a car that got into a wreck, and the semi truck was dangling off of Dixie. Dang. Sitting there with the semi it's crazy but yeah and right there in and, that area and people have passed away from wrecks in that area well it just happened two weekends ago um, right there also now um i remember now um there have been people that they say they've seen somebody on the side of the road and they go stop for all these little right there right yeah right in that way See I if they it. need a, need need to ride them and they pull over. Nobody's no longer there. I believe it, and I believe it's what has a lot to do with our cemetery. That well, not necessarily the cemetery, but also the wrecks that happen there. You know, there's yeah. a lot of activity in that area there for is. sure. You know, and yeah. I feel like you know, like if I was a spirit and I came across that land, you know, I'd probably chill chill there for a good while. You know, because yeah, I mean, it's it up on. You got the uh, river flowing through it. Um, yeah. Actually, not only you got the river, you got the whole highway. You got the train tracks. You got the train tracks. 
Yep, cemetery. You have pretty much that. private land. Nobody's over there messing with it. No, nah, people. I mean, some people do go over there. Well, whatnot, I mean, but, but yeah, but it's not like a high traffic. No. Area. No. Um. I feel like a lot of people probably wouldn't even know the cemetery's there. Yeah, and I wonder maybe the spirit that we encountered there that we thought was agitated. Um, I wonder if maybe if they're if the reason why they're agitated is because how the land is been upkept and could be which is abandoned and the energy overgrown. I mean just completely forgot about yeah and not just that like it's not like it used to be a oil company or something like that energy company Two oil companies. and it's not like I don't I don't think that they left it the way they should have well and if you think about it when we were sitting there searching for the cemetery you know the concrete barriers that were holding the oil tank? We've seen multiple of them. They were actually close by the cemetery, too. So, like, you know, like, they probably didn't respect the cemetery. Yeah. Too. You know what I'm saying? Just they like, probably didn't. Yeah, I feel like they just didn't respect it, period. And that's why I felt like I needed to knock, you know, before going into the house. Yeah. like Because it was a family house. It was. Like, protection. Like it was a me, family farm at one point. To me, I felt like when you knock on wood, it. I mean, necessarily it's out of respect, you know, and then on top of that, like, you know, good spirits come and protect, whatnot. I feel like it depends on your intentions when you do that knock. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Necessarily, yeah, but, I'm like, to me, I feel like, you know, spirits, like, whatever energy's there, you're knocking to let them know, hey, I'm here, and then yeah. also, you know. You want to come talk to me? Yeah, it's you like know, there to listen. Yeah, <laughs> and that's like that's a, that's another thing with the investigations. I don't want to ask them the same thing that every investigator's ever asked them. No, you I kind of want them to tell me their story. Like, not yeah, you tell me your oh, story. Tell me a memory or, or or talk to me about something. Yeah. Now you know if you can. Like help me help me know how you feel. Yeah, like, like yeah. what's going on in your life now? What do you do now? You know? Yeah. Because I want to know more about the afterlife. I think everybody does, but, like. I mean, yeah, but I'm into it more of chit-chatting, you know? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, I do want to know more. I'm going to probably ask them all these questions, because, so like, on and so forth. My but, biggest thing is, like, I want to know if they see what we see or if they still see it back in their time. You know, I ain't trying to Netflix and chill, but I'm just trying to, <laughs> you know, hang out and swap stories. Yeah. You know, that's that's a lot. So, moving on to the haunted doll. This has already <laughs> been going on for a long time, I bet. Yeah. Um, it's long like, podcast, but it's sorry. all right. It's been a while, so. So, haunted doll of the week <laughs> I wanna is. Wait to hear you say that again. Is. Hold on, hold on. I looked it up. No, like, I got it right here. It. I got it right here on my computer. <laughs> oh, how to say it, I don't know. It's like Halua Ubin. Oven. Yeah. Palua. Where is it? Ubin. I know it says the Brit it's like British arrested, but like. Palua, Ubin, Northeast Singapore. So this is, if I am correct, Singapore is Asia. Okay. Asia, That's what I was thinking. There's like continent. an Asian. Yeah. It's definitely an Asian. Could name. be wrong, and if I am, sorry. Yeah. Don't kill me. I mean, you could ask. I'd be that ignorant, topic. but I'm pretty sure it's. Asian. I was thinking either Hawaiian continent. or Asian. Well, Hawaiian, their ancestors came from Asia. But I was saying the way that it's named, like the name yeah. of it was like either the like Palu, Hawaiian or yeah. yeah. Well, if I'm correct, I think Hawaiians came from, <laughs> like their ancestors <laughs> came know. from we're, Japan. We're making ourselves look ignorant right now. <laughs> no, um, this is, it's history. I, I'm pretty sure. Hawaiian's ancestry came from the Japan area, you know, and I mean some of their beliefs line up, and, yeah, and they also have some of their own beliefs. But anyways, it's in Singapore, uh, so we got two stories of this doll. I'm gonna go tell you my story, then my wife's going to explain and go tell you her story. Do you still have it? I didn't write it down. I'm trying to remember. Pull it up on your phone. Pull it up on your phone. But yeah, so but while you're ahead. while you're pulling up on your phone, I'll tell you my story. Okay. So, well, 
story that I found of this doll. So the story starts off in 1914 during World War One. Supposedly, the British arrested a German couple in Singapore they presumed were spies. The couple's daughter ran off and managed to get away, only to plunge off a steep cliff in Palooza and crash to her death. If I am saying this name wrong, I apologize. Uh, it is truly my ignorance, and I'm going to say it correctly. Now, natives constructed a reliquary, I'm pretty sure I said that word wrong, in her memory with a porcelain attire on a Barbie doll. So it's a Barbie doll with the porcelain attire, like a type of clothing, on a Barbie doll that reportedly contains her crucifix. The doll, it is said, holds the child's spirit and soul, and some claim it's haunted, and over time it has became a local deity. The doll is uh, benevolent in nature, helps out the community, and guards them against ill fortune every year. See? Uh, festival, every year a festival is held, and offerings are made to the doll. So that's like pagan ritual, you know, you offer, you know, thanks to a deity or a a god or a a spirit for it to not harm you and for it to bring you good fortune. That goes into why we're understanding why they must idolize And I feel like your story, I feel like my story and your story, part of it blends in together, but the beginning is totally different because... Mine's just... There's just two different ways of how she died. Yeah. Was it what mine was? Was one was starvation and one was the World War Two or the World War One yeah. incident. But um, also in the article I was reading though that they pointed out that the article that their story came from, their sources wasn't correct. Like they tried to say that the urn, the doll replaced the urn, but honestly the urn is like right behind the doll. But supposedly the urn, her ashes were stolen. So, is she even still really there? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Well, they say if you burn, like, the body, the ashes are there, but, like, usually you burn the body, so the spirit is not attached to the body, you know, so the ashes itself, um, the spirit ain't attached to it probably attach something else so, but that's that's like say, don't tell to me, me that. that's folklore uh like it's it's one of millions of paranormal reasoning it's not 100 percent actual factual i was gonna say don't tell me that because i feel closer to concerned. addison when yeah well i'm with her ashes so well with when it comes to your sister i feel like I feel like she's but I kind of feel like it's home just, and she comes it's visits the room. everybody yeah. and everything. Like it's I feel, room. Yeah. I feel like she would still be hanging out in her uh, house. You know what I'm saying? It's her room. Oh, I but, still think that'd be the same thing there. Um, so. Yeah. So, I mean, there's two different starts of the story of how this child came about and passed away. Pretty much the natives there. Uh, well, tell them about the story about the man. You said the man and his. Oh, his, oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Yeah, how the doll even came about. Yeah, the doll came. How the doll came about. So, um, so supposedly 100 years after the man was reported to die, he had um, a dream three nights in a row of a little girl. There was a Caucasian girl that led him to a shop and told him to buy a Barbie. The girl told him to put this doll on the altar of the German girl shrine. When he woke up after the third dream, he went and found the shop, and the same Barbie from his dream was there. He bought the doll and took it to the temple, where it is still today. Many people come to the shrine to worship the doll. So. But then... But then that makes your story, it contradicts your story about the doll and the porcelain clothing or whatever. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because if he just bought this doll from the store, then it wasn't native. So I don't, it's I don't know. The store yeah. is confusing. But I feel like that's with everything. You have two point of views and two different stories and how things happen. And yeah. So. Um. So this is what the doll looks. That's the haunted doll of the <laughs> week. So now we are going to do a new thing in the podcast instead of going over Nuke's top five. Yeah. We are doing something. Just kidding. No. Just kidding. He, he literally says, I'm going to let you decide. No, I you know. know. I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and like, Instead of, you know, showing somebody else's content, I thought I would go online and uh, pretty yeah, much. So, what we do with Hawks Are Haunted, we're going to play several videos and. Now this is just going to be our opinion if it's a hoax or if it's haunted. haunted. Okay. Now if we say it's a hoax, we're not saying it's 100% fake. We're just saying what we think that's our opinion. that it's a hoax. Um, that's our opinion. We're not saying it is uh, fake. And if you disagree with us, um, just let us know down in the comments. Uh, don't argue with us like we don't want arguments and stuff no, but please don't name call us if we say somebody that you watch is a hoax um, now I pulled all these off of TikTok um, I'm going to pursue pulling them off of TikTok maybe off of YouTube if I can find something I feel like um, TikTok's the thing right now well TikTok's got a lot of paranormal saying. things it's, going on on it it's the go to right now yeah <laughs> it is so I'm pulling off TikTok right now. Or send us, send us some. Yeah, send us some. Uh, I'll leave a uh, email in the link in the description below. Probably put it up on screen too. Yeah. Uh, send us. Uh, like some people might be seeing what you're not seeing. You know. Yeah. Send us a clip through to the email and tell me about it. How I can get to seeing it, or just email me about it, or put it, something down in the comments for me to go check out, and I'll pull it up and see what I can see and or if it's on TikTok you can send it to us yeah I send mean, us on TikTok Geeked Up Paranormal we're almost on all social we're on platforms all, so. all social platforms Geeked Up Paranormal um you search that you'll find us yep. so hoax or haunted the door and then it comes on unhatched by itself well I think it moves a couple times yeah it's shaking here I think 
checking that out. Just heard some noise. Haunted point of view TikTok. See, unlatch, the door comes open a little bit. You're ahead of me. Hoax or haunted? I'd have to see it again. Because the lock was already iffy trying to get it down to begin with. It was already trying to pop up. You know what I'm saying? Like he already had a hard time. No, he had a hard time putting it in there. But see how it's also, see what I'm saying? I mean, watch how it pops up, though. What do you think? You don't, you don't know if it's hoax or haunted? Yeah. So. Because, I mean, you could fake it with a string. This could be fake. You could fake it. This could be fake. Um, and he didn't open the door to check what's on the other side. Yeah, we don't know what was on the other side of that door. Um, And the latch, to me, was already iffy when he was trying to put it down. You think it was iffy? I, I'm not going to say if this is hoax or not. I'm just saying it's iffy. It's I'm, iffy. I'm going to say it could be either or. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm not going to say. If That's it's, not fair. I feel like you have to pick one or the other. No. With this, we're not going to we're not gonna pick one if we choose not to pick one. Okay. Well, what do you think? <laughs> I mean, I feel like it could be a hoax. It could be hoax. It, uh, it could be You know, though. somebody could easily fake that. Um, he didn't open the door and check what was on the other side. See, and I like to know. I felt like somebody could have shook it and popped it out. Mm -hmm. Like you said, it was... It was already, already empty to begin with. Because it was already bent. Yeah. Usually those are straight. Um, but at one time, you, I felt like I heard the door shaking. And then I heard, I felt like footsteps. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. coming up. Because, I mean, so to the viewers, I'm probably hearing it different. If you don't have headphones in, I'm probably hearing it different than you. Um, cause through these headphones, I felt like I heard footsteps and other things. So I felt like somebody was on the other side of the door. Yeah. And it could be string. Now, with that being said, I'm not saying it's a hoax because I that could have been legit. You I know, I swear it could have left the footprints. Yeah, could have like, made yeah. The, the sound of the footprints. Sure. You know, but and not something. But off. that's what makes me iffy because we don't know what was on the other side of the yeah, door. Yeah, we don't know what was on the other side of the door. We don't know anything other than that yeah and um, those latches i mean those aren't very you know what i'm saying like those are easy to manipulate yeah very so, so you can literally stick something through yeah. the door and pop so. it up yeah so we're gonna leave that to the viewers <laughs> you guys if it's a hoax or haunted comment it down below so that's one or actually that's we're gonna say that's 10 number 10 uh is it hoax or haunted leave it down in the comments below let us know Fork, spoon, something flying up out of it. It went upwards. Ooh. But then that kind of went up and towards a different direction. And I think that was a knife, it and looked it like. The, door. the door's starting to close. Ah, uh, real. So you're saying that that is. Just because look at haunted. how the silverware was being flown. Like. Hold on. I mean, okay. Like they're flipping and they're going different directions. So you are saying that this is haunted? I don't okay. think so. Okay. I mean, I could be wrong. I'm not going to say either or. That's not fair. You have to say it. Okay. We're going to really change the rules. Okay, so in this clip, it could be done still by stream. Yes, could. Um. But harder, harder to do with the flips and shit, I feel like. Oh. Um, I still think, I'm going to go with haunt because I, I can't prove to you that it is a hoax. Okay, how about that? Okay. Is that good for you? Yeah. Until you have, I can prove that it's a hoax, it's haunted. Or if, somebody, or if somebody can prove that it's a hoax, to me it's going to be haunted. Because, I mean, this still could be faked like the last one still yes. could be faked. So, I'm going to 
just say both of them are haunted and until somebody can prove it to me it's a hoax. Comment down below what you think uh, if it's hoax or haunted for number nine. Now, for number ten. Alright, let's go on now. Yeah, something runs up the steps. I've seen this one a hundred times. Ghost runs upstairs, caught on camera. <laughs> now, what do you think about I gotta that? I got to redo it. Hang on. But where does it go? Into that room. And did it slam the door? Yes. So that's why it goes dark. Yes. Okay. Ah. Uh, that could be faked. You didn't see anything. You just hear it. Well, then the, Am I correct? Then you he turns around and the door shuts. Yeah. Yes. But again, we didn't see who or what was in that room before. Yeah. Right? So someone could have been running along the top. Well, let's look at this one more time from the beginning. Okay. Yeah, see the door's open. You don't yeah. see no shadow no. coming out, so it, there's nobody standing in the doorway. I know. That's not least. what I was saying. But you can't see if somebody shut the door. So if you exactly. See and what, you just hear it. Yeah. Okay, so someone could have been upstairs with them yeah. on the other side, running towards them, and then someone in the room could have slammed the door. Yeah. Because, again, you do not or see anything. You somebody, just hear it. Not, not necessarily run. Somebody could have been like doing that, like yeah. somebody was running on the floor, you know. You don't see it. No. Do so, you, do you think it's a hoax or haunted? Hoax. Do you think it's a hoax? That me and you could do that video right now. That is very easily to manipulate. Yeah. Fake. That was hoax. way too easy. But I'm gonna say it's haunted. Mm. I'm gonna say it's haunted only because you don't want to make nobody mad no not necessarily I don't want to make nobody mad it's just I've actually seen not in real life but um, another investigator this has happened to they filmed it they show you they walked out of their room because they heard noise coming from downstairs right okay and they walk out of their room and then they look down the stairs and something runs up their steps mm -hmm. And shuts their door, and nobody was in their room. But did you see that there was nobody else in their room? Yeah, you could see that there was nobody else. In so that see, room. then that's a little different. There's nothing. They're not hiding no. nothing. I mean, that's it. It like, I mean, they still could have hit it somehow. Or but you know what I mean, like added sound and so on. So they're a little bit more to open to showing you that <laughs> hey, I'm not yeah. faking this. I'm gonna I'm go with haunted. All right. Well, I'm saying faked. You're saying hoax. 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 I'm saying because I can't. I mean, do better. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna die if that's real though. I mean, you don't know till you know. I know. I gotta quit xing out and stuff like that. Jeez. So, on number. We're on, what, eight now? I have no idea. Yeah, because it's the third one, so it's eight, ten, nine, eight. <laughs> so, um, on number eight, comment down below what you think the talks are haunted. I think it's haunted. And my, my wife, yeah. Hoax. Thinks it's a hoax. Ho, ho, hoax. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so now on to number seven. So as I'm numbering these, it's in a 10 to one order. It's not 10 from what we think is being a hoax to one being on it. Uh, we're not saying one's more on it than it's the other. Uh, this is actually a random selection of how my computer numbered it. Okay, well, that's and fine. That's how we're playing it. All right. So it's this one right here. Okay. Ready, set, go. The little girl saw her dead mother at a grave and kissed her goodbye. Oh. I believe it. Honestly, I believe this is 100% 
content. Kids don't know how to fake that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna say this is hoax because I'm gonna just more say. It was straight up on it. Straight like, up on it. I mean, she's waving something, but I. And she automatically like starts talking to it. Yeah. Like it's not like. She was like moving towards it. Yeah. So. She definitely I mean, knew who it somebody, was. Somebody, somebody could be outside I mean, of the camera waving to her behind stuff. I mean, it could be hoax, but with a kid, it's a little bit harder. Yeah, I mean, I think, I'm, I'm going to say it's haunted. Because you see it all sure. the time. Kids, kids always. No, no, since you're saying it's haunted, it's a hoax. Straight up hoax. Somebody can just stand on the side like, bye bye, little baby. True, haunted. It's a hoax. Haunted. It's a hoax. You're just saying that. I am just saying that. I it's think it's haunted. Yeah. I'm only saying hoax because you said haunted. <laughs> what do you think down below we in the comments? Let something. us know if you think that is hoax. That's number seven. Or haunted. That is a number seven. So now on to number six. Five. We're skipping six because a loud mouth over here. <laughs> on to number six. Calm down, little girl. That was loud. All right, you ready? Ready. Set, go. Brightness turned up and cropped. Did you see it? Yes, but... So the first time I didn't see it until they showed you. <laughs> yeah, you can't be... I was filming a silly video, and I saw something in the background watching it back. Yeah. Okay. At first I thought it was at that shadow, but I was like, no. No. Now, this could be easily hoaxed. Yeah. You know, easily could be hoaxed. Yeah. I say hoax, friend. It's her friend helping her. Yeah. Hoax. I'm, I'm going to say haunted. I'm saying haunted. I'm only saying haunted because you said it hoax. Yes, it could be easily fake. Um, but it could easily be real. It but. could be real. But reason since you're saying it's a hoax, I'm going to go with haunted because that would be dope if it's real. Yes, it would be. But, but I, I feel like... I'm say haunted. I mean hoax. I feel like it's easily could be hoax for sure. Okay. I mean, I've seen... I've actually seen multiple videos like this, and some of them you see a full apparition, like you can't see through them. And some of mm -hmm. them you can see through. Some of them have disformed, deformed faces, so so on and so forth. But it's it like a lot of them were actually fake. Then there are some. I feel of like them, we've seen some real ones. Yeah, we've seen some real ones like that. Especially the foreign and then, ones. Like when they're very pale, white face. Yeah, like, or they literally form right in front of your eyes. Yeah, we've seen like, that too. Yeah. yeah, I remember that one where he turned into the room and it formed and then it ran off. Remember? Yep, yep, yep. It yep. was like crouched down. Yep. Yeah, that was creepy. I Anyways. think. I, so I'm, I'm gonna go with haunted since you're going with haunted. All right. Oh yeah. So there, these people get the the door's shaking right here, okay. and it opens, and they go out there and look. Uh. It could be easily. That yeah. could be easily hoaxed. But you don't hear nobody run up the steps. Um, but somebody also could have went out the door real quick, too, and got it closed quietly. But my thing is, is you see how they chased it. They showed, like, they yeah. tried to show you. So I'm going to go back to the beginning of this. Yeah. Okay, so the door's shaking. shaking. They actually, this people get a lot of activity. Door's shaking. It yeah. opens. Yeah. You see the lever moving yeah. everything. Yeah. And then here's my thing. I'm gonna go back just a couple. It was too fast. Yeah, the door shaking or lever shaking, then the lever moves down, and it opens. Yeah. Um, it was too fast. The door, you didn't see that door close. You don't see the blinds moving. Haunted. You don't, you don't see or hear anything. I and mean, they're automatic to chase it to show you. Yeah. That and, it was nobody. And these people in their apartment, they do get a lot of activity, and they film it a lot. And things go flying and so on yeah. and so forth. I'm gonna say haunted. Um, Laney and Ben on TikTok, check them out. So I forgot what number this is. Uh, I think it's five. Five. 
what? So let us know who down in the right? comments no, below. Who was right? If number five, if you think it's hoax or haunted, we are believing that it is haunted. Now, once again, this stuff could be fake. Uh, it could. It's a little bit harder to fake. Um, yeah, that person had to be really, really fast if they faked it, but the fact I, that they went and chased it and tried to show you, yeah, I'm still, I believe it's real. I'm still going to say it is a What's the next one? haunted on it one um so let us know what you think down in the comments below if it's hoax or haunted i actually like to see what y'all think as well uh because maybe some of these are uh hoaxes and y'all know and can prove it you know and if they're not and they're on it and you believe that they're on it i mean i believe you uh, all right ready and you found it yeah so this is uh four number four so, on our hoax or haunted, it's never got this close. Um, I have no idea what's going on right now. Sounds like stuff's Door getting open, thrown. Stuff, yeah. um, Silverware. Where was the camera looking when this happened? Somebody could be running around that island. Easily could yeah, be... Yeah, he was like on his couch. He was like happening behind him. Easily could be hoax. Um... Yeah, that's like mm. the sand and they dropped right down behind him. Easily could be hoaxed. But he does look around, you don't hear nobody run away. Yeah. Um, and you can kind of, I don't know, he could be a good actor, but to me in his voice, he is scared. Yeah, I mean, this could easily be yes. hoaxed. Could have. I'm going over it again. He hears so, noises. He, yeah. Now, that, that was cut. Hold on, let me. Actually, I don't know. I can't tell if that was cut or not. So you don't see none of it. Besides the reflection on the TV. But you and, hear it. Yeah, you hear the stuff. And then you see the reflection on the TV as he sits down. There's something behind him. Um, but he turns around. trying to see if any of that's cut. I couldn't tell. But he, he looks around. And but to me, yeah. See, he's trying to show you Yeah. that it's nobody. But like, then again, the person could know where to go and hide. It and could stuff. be fake, but I'm still going to go it's haunted. It's haunted. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with it is a hoax. Um, for the simple fact that it easily could be faked. Could be. Um, and you went with on it, and I've been going with on it over and over again. Uh, so this one, I'm gonna say it's a hoax. Could be totally 100% wrong. So do not kill me over it. I mean, it's very easily could be faked, you know. But could be. But, but I think I think it's real. I mean, I, I feel like it's real, but I'm gonna go with hoax. And go with on it, so. so let us know down in the comments below what you think if it's hoax or haunted for number four. Um, she is saying it is a it's haunted. I'm saying it's hoax only because she's saying it's haunted. Um, so let us know down in the comments below what you think. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Four is so this one is uh, apparently a priest. Or a pastor, some form of man of God, trying to, I guess, perform a. Well, his TikTok name's Bob Larson Exorcist, so. A. True. But he's an exorcist. Um, and he's got tons of these on his profile, so go check him out on TikTok. Let us know if you think he's a. If this is all hoaxes or not. There's several of them. This is just one of them. And I'm going to play it here for you right now. This does get loud.
I don't know about this one. Like, I really don't know. She could be a really good actor. Yeah. They could both be good actors. She can be a really good actor, but to me, he can be. He to me, he's, if he's acting, he, it's crappy. You know. He's got several of these on his TikTok too. Yeah. I don't know if it's uh, uh, different ones too. I don't know if he has multiple of this one necessarily, but he has different ones. And I've been watching them. I, I, I mean, I mean, now she's easily saying Jesus yeah. and stuff. Where before she was, you know. So, um, what do you think of that one? No, I answer first, so I'm gonna let Is you. Is that number three? That's four. That's number four? Okay. So, with number four, leave it down in the comments below. Let us know what you think it is, if it's hoax or haunted. Me, I kind of want to say it's a hoax. Like, I'm honestly right there wanting to say it's a hoax. But, watching her. Right, and how everything went down. I want to say it's haunted because she couldn't really say what he was wanting her to say. Like it was being fought back, and yeah. she, you know, like if this is a hoax, she's a grade A actor. I mean, I'm and, gonna say. And it's... then him, he necessarily, if he's acting, he's a crappy actor. So that was kind of, you know. Yeah, I could have done better, but. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with haunted. I'm gonna go with haunted because, because. Go ahead. Go ahead. You go ahead. I was just gonna say because like, who like, the only exorcism I've seen is in the movies, right? And that was nothing like the movies. But. Yeah, she ain't floating and. and breaking her back or whatever, but. Yeah. Well, I mean, some of them like, some. Uh, possessions like you got different yeah. types of possessions, right? There's yeah, like levels. There's levels to possessions, and then like there's levels to what exorcisms you know you give to. But what I'm getting at is like I want to believe that Possession. it's real. Possession. I want to believe that it, it can happen, and I feel like Ed and Lorraine's story has helped bring these other stories out. Yeah, yeah. And you um, say there's multiple. I feel like I feel like it's real. Well, I mean, if you I'll, believe in God, you believe in the devil and the demons, yeah. really. And who says they can't come up and possess it? God can come down and show Himself and do what He does. So I believe it's real. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with on it. I do want to say hoax almost though because for yeah. the simple fact the I mean, guy it could be faked. I feel like the guy like I mean obviously this is easily fake this is the most easiest fake stuff you yeah. can do. Um but you know like if you know this stuff and you know the paranormal you you can know when somebody's faking and like this person had to do their uh like probably did their research if yeah. they were faking. And she's I want to believe actor. it's real. I and the guy, it really happens. the guy, like to me, like if he was acting, it was a crappy, like really crappy actor. Yeah. You know, but I'm gonna go with on it because yeah. I do believe in that. I do too. So I believe that they can easily possess us. That was number four. Mm -hmm. All right, we're moving on to number three now. I'm gonna take a look at this. See if this is number three. Cause we actually, I think we skipped ahead. So the last one was three. This is two. Okay, so so comment down we, below for number three if you think that was hoax or not. It. We this is the purple bed. Yes, this is number two. So the you hear bangs on the door. Yeah. Easily fake. Yeah. But he checks everywhere.
<laughs> so I've seen multiple of this one. Um, it easily could be fake. Yeah. And you know, I feel like that could have been like an easily a uh, parody of it. Um, so for number two, do you believe is it hoax or haunted? I'm gonna go with hoax. I ain't went with hoax in a minute. Since you went with hoax, I'm gonna say haunted because you went with hoax. But what I'm gonna say is this could be easily fake. You know what I'm saying? Somebody else could the be. The typical knocks, the door rattles, like that stuff. It's so easy. I mean, everything is really easy yeah. to fake. You can fake anything. But. And. My thing is, um, I don't know, I feel like this was kind of like a parody. This is going to be at the end, you know, ha ha, you, yeah. you know, um, but I feel like I might say something like that if I had poltergeist activity happening all around me, you know, and I, it's not staying in one spot or it's being Yeah, it's jumping shot. around. So I'm going to go with being an act. haunt it because you're going with hoax. Um, let us down, know down in the comments below if you think it is hoax or haunted. So now we're moving on to the last one. So, yeah. Um, I said those people to me. It's this one. The couple? Yeah, it's the couple again. Uh, okay. Laney and Ben on TikTok. Um, you ready to watch it? Yeah, go ahead. Alright. So, first things happen, something flies off the counter. Could be easily faked. Yeah something falls off that I mean we used to live by a train yeah and stuff fell off the wall and the train went by that right there could have been a cat they do have cats that could have been a cat knocking it open I don't know like, that could have been faked like all this could be faked yes I think it's haunted, honestly. I know all this could be fake. Did she just get hit in the face? I don't know, did she? Oh, right there? Yeah. And then he gets hit. Yeah. A little blow on the back of his neck. I believe this is real. Yeah, so that's number There's one. There's just way too much um, going on. Yeah. I mean, I feel like... And, like, their reactions are genuine. Like, if when she got hit, like, it's like a, yeah, you know, like. And they're, I mean, I feel like if they're faking and they're fakers, they would also go to other places. True. Yeah. You know. And. I also, mean, if they're faking, they need to, like, direct a paranormal movie to them. But. Yeah. Um. Honestly. But I honestly think it's real. Their reaction, like, it just, it, to me, it feels they, real. They could be good actors. They are They could be. It could be. But I, I, I'm going to say it's, it's haunted. Because that means they get, if it was fake, I feel like they'd already be done and over with it by yeah. now. Because it gets old. Yeah, exactly. You know, same thing every time. Yeah. Wasp. I can't what? tell what it is. It's, not it's a moth. Oh. How did a moth even get... <laughs> That's like the second thing for this uh, podcast now. That's like weird. Weird. I don't know. Our interference with audio we yeah. had. The moth. Well, even the ovulus going off the way it was. Like. And I just watched, you got to think, I watched Through the Veil Paranormal the other day. Yeah. Moth Man. Yeah. <laughs> Go back where you came from. <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> So sketchy, so sketchy, so sketchy. All right, guys. That's going to end this podcast right here. Yeah, okay. Thank you for like watching. That was Hoax or Haunted. So that's going to be posted another day as well, um, separately. But you can see it here first on the podcast. So next podcast, if you want to see uh, that Hoax or Haunted, because that will be on the next podcast before that one gets released. Um, so then it's going to be the Steely Farm uh, paranormal investigation. I suggest for y'all check that out. And before y'all check that out, 
go watch the previous Steely uh, Farm, Abandoned Farm videos where we check out the whole entire property. We walk around, we show you the house, inside the house, the little shed beside it, some oil tanks around it, um, the riverfront of it, and we found the cemetery. Which with the Steely Farm, that burnt, that building that the stuff was burned in? Yeah. You think that happened like recent? Did they started clearing it out and caught it on fire? Or? I don't, I don't. Cause to me that was weird. It wasn't within, uh, like, the couple years. Because it was definitely a burned building. Yeah. They definitely the burnt inside, something burnt in. inside, yeah. I wouldn't say it was recent, like, within... Because I think the last... I wouldn't say it's recent. I wouldn't say Off it's topic, recent. but... Um, Alright, so... <laughs> it's going to be this Steely Farm investigation. Uh, check that out. Thank you for watching this, and if you stayed this long, um, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you enjoyed our new segment and new video, Hoax or Haunt It. Um, Hopefully you just enjoyed this. <laughs> make sure you leave a like on this video. Comment down below what you think uh, about everything that we've talked about, as far as Leah's smock to the Haunted Doll, um, the Oddless Five, the Paranormal Question, Does Fakers Hurt? Uh, legitimate evidence um, you know about hoax or haunted and we talked about our previous investigation or yeah our pre we talked about previous investigations and we also talked about the investigation coming up this Thursday so stay tuned to watch that make sure you subscribe to this video and this is Geeked Up Paranormal Podcast G-U-P-P Gup 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 Anything you'd like to say before we go? Not good. I ain't scared. I'll go anywhere. I put the pair in paranormal. R.I.P.